Here's part three, final part. So this is the part where it gets really exciting. I had been on the pills for a oh, while. Wow. Remember, it was October of 2019 when I um, was admitted into the hospital and I stayed for a few nights until they figured out that you know, I had hyperthyroidism. And um, it was specifically Graves' disease, hyperthyroidism. And so um, I was taking the methimazole daily and I remember going to a friend's house. And if you're a believer, then I hope this encourages your faith. And if you're someone who's going through it and, you, um, and you're someone that believes in healing and the power of God, <laughs> um, miracle, that miracles happen, then listen on. Um, so, so yeah, so I, I was, I was taking it religiously. I was taking my, um, my pills and I, um, brought up to my endocrinologist. I was like, Hey, you know, I would like to get off of these pills. Um, do you think there's any chance that I can? And he was like, well, not really. Like the only thing that we can do is take out your, like surgically remove your thyroid or, um, or uh, what was the other one? Have iodine treatment, which is basically like you take this pill and apparently like it like kills your thyroid or something like that. And then you have to take like this other pill like for the rest of your life that would act as a thyroid. Um, and I was just like, yeah, I don't like any of those ideas. Like I personally, I'm someone that I like to keep every single part of me <laughs> in me. <laughs> So um, it was that was really hard to hear. So like I cried so hard, um, and I was like, I I just don't like those options. And I remember going to my friend, and I was like, Hey, um, a Christian friend of ours, and I was like, Hey, you know, this happened, this happened, this happened. She was just like, you know, very. She was encouraging, and I remember that night, um, I felt like God was saying to me, like, Have this person pray for you, and. Um, I was like, okay, like I saw exactly where it would, where I'd be prayed for and everything like that. And I kid you not, like the day, like he prayed for me and what, and what he prayed basically was that I would not need the pills anymore. And so what ended up happening was like literally right after that prayer, um, the pills that I were, the amount of pills that I was like the, um, the, uh, uh, yeah, the amount, like the 10 milligrams that I was taking, um, of the methimazole was pushing my thyroid to like, to be like, um, to the other side of the spectrum. So instead of being hyperthyroid, I was hypothyroid. And, um, and so, I was like, oh my God. And so my, my doctor, my endocrinologist was like, okay, we're gonna drop you down to, we're gonna do another reading, like another blood draw, blood test and see, you know, if we need to drop you. And so we waited another month and they saw that I was still on the hypothyroid range. And so they were like, okay, we need to drop your, your, um, your dosage. So they dropped it to five milligrams. And then after that, they dropped it to 2.5 milligrams, which meant that I was like taking a pill every other day instead of taking it every single day. So I was taking five milligrams every other day. And, um, and so it got to the point where they were like, even the 2.5 milligrams, even the five milligrams every other day is, is pushing you to hypothyroid. So at this point, we'd like to try without the medication. And I had already been like, I had already been on the methimazole for a while, like a year and a few months, I want to say. And so, um, to let you know, like literally this February, I stopped taking the methimazole. And so I've been off of it ever since and I've been getting my blood work, you know, done. And it still says the same thing, that I do not need um, the pills to manage my thyroid, that my thyroid is doing just fine on its own. And so this is my remission story. It's my story of healing. It's a story I hope that encourages your faith because God 
healed me. <laughs> we prayed and he healed me. Um, and it's weird because like, I, I, I had gone through all of this and, and God, and then taking that time out to pray and, and, and being obedient to what I'd heard, I'd gotten to this position where now I'm in remission. And yeah, I mean, it doesn't lie. Sorry, I can't show you this because that's my actual information on it, but <laughs> I'm not a fall risk anymore and I don't have hyperthyroidism anymore. I'm in remission. Um, so I wanted to share this story with you guys to encourage your faith. And I really hope that um, if you're out there and you feel like someone has diagnosed, like some doctor has diagnosed you with the disease, believe in the power of healing. Believe that miracles can happen. If you look throughout the Bible, plenty of miracles happened. Um, you think about the woman with the blood issue. She was healed by touching the garment. Uh, you think about the blind man. He was healed. Like all of these people that have been healed in the Bible. And I'll also, there's this recent one um, that my friend sent over where someone was healed from Crohn's disease. I'll send that to you. I'll put it like a link in the description. But like miracles happen. God is real and I'm just happy to be here and be in remission. So thank you guys for watching my story and I hope it encourages you and that you don't give up if you're dealing with hyperthyroidism, that you, you don't give up. <laughs> I believe you can be healed too, so. All right guys, that's my story. I hope this encouraged you. Um, cut the guitar's in the background because I'm trying to learn how to play um, and maybe watching this video while I edit it will encourage me to <laughs> learn to play the guitar. So, um, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already, like, subscribe. If you like this video, like it, subscribe and um, join the LFAM today. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram where I post some really good inspirational quotes and, um, you know, some good life quotes and just where you get to do life with us um, and yeah. So, see you guys. Bye.